Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'm going to be bringing you another statue tutorial. This time, I'm going to be showing you how to make a cat statue. If you want to make it, here's what you're going to need. You will need black wool, dark grey wool, light grey, white, pink, and finally, lime green wool. You could also use dark green wool instead of the lime if you were so inclined, but I prefer lighter colours. Your choice. All of these colours are your choices. Once you've got all of the colours you need, and once you have figured out where you're going to make it, I'm going to be making it right here, you're going to want to start this off with this little sequence of blocks coming directly up from the floor. You want to do one white wool, one light grey, one dark grey, one black. Once you've done those four blocks right there, you're going to want to do this little sequence of blocks directly to the right of them, you want to do one white wool, one light grey, one white, one dark grey to give you something which should look exactly like that. Once you have those two rows of four, pause as if necessary of course, you just want to go behind those two rows. The, by the way, um, I should point this out probably, this is going to be the front of your statue. Mark, you know, where you want the front of your statue to be, it will just be easier in the long run. So. Oh no, I'll just put a lime green wool here to signify that this is the front facing part of the statue. So, come behind the two rows that you've just made, and starting from the, oh I don't know, we'll start on the left hand side. Behind the left row of four that we have here, coming up from the bottom, you want to do this little sequence of blocks. Do two light grey, one dark grey, one black. Then, to the right of that, starting from the bottom again, you want to do... Two white wool, one light grey, one dark grey, to give you something which should look exactly like that, and that is just the back of the cat's leg. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, come over to the front of your statue once again. And what we want to do is this. So what you basically want to do now is exactly what you've already done, except one space going to the right. So, starting from here, leave a gap of one. Starting from here, you're just going to want to do the exact same thing that you have slightly to the left of you. So, you're just going to want to have something which should look exactly like that, for instance. As you can see, it's not a mirrored version or anything, you just want to have exactly what you have to the left, but with a one space gap. Pause that if necessary. Once you've done that, you're going to want to do the exact same thing on the back. You just want to copy block for block what you have now on the right of your screen, just on the left here to give you something which should look exactly like that. Very simple indeed. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, you have successfully done both of the front legs. Once you've done that, and of course, pause this if you're still working on any of that, it's time for us to move on to the body, so this is what we're going to do. Come over to this right leg here, take a sideways view like this, and starting from on top of this dark grey block that we have here, you're going to want to do one black wool. Then, to the left of that, you're going to want to do one dark grey, then one light grey. And once you've done that, you're going to want to come to the right-hand side of the first black wall that we placed, because, well, this is going to be the long side of the cat. We've just made what is essentially the cat's chest here. So, going right of this black wall now, you're going to want to do this sequence of blocks. Do one black wall, three dark grey, one, two, three, one white wall, three light grey, one, two, three, three dark grey, one, two, three, two black wool, one, two, and finally, one dark grey, to give you something which should look exactly like that. Quite easy. Pause out if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, we're going to do the back legs. So the back legs are in line with these two black wool that we have here. How do we do this easily? I know how we do this easily. Come underneath the first black wall, so, you know, as if you're coming from the front towards the back, underneath this first black wall here, you're going to want to do this little sequence of blocks coming down from it. Do one dark grey, then three white wool. One, two, three. Then directly left of those four blocks that you've just placed, you're going to want to do coming up from the floor, one light grey, 
one white wall, one dark grey, one black wall to give you something which should look exactly like that. And once you've done that, you're just going to want to come behind those two rows of four blocks to do the back of the leg. So what you then want to do, once you're on the back, starting from the left side here, starting from the bottom going up, you want to do this sequence of blocks. Do two white wool, one light grey, one dark grey. Then, to the right of that, you're just going to want to do two white wool, one dark grey, one black wool, to give you something which should look exactly like that. Very easy. Pause that if necessary, of course, and once you've done that, you're just going to want to come to the front of that back leg, and just as we did on the front, we're just going to do the other leg now. And just as we have on the front, it is just separated by one block. So leave a gap of one and go to the left and then just copy exactly what you have on the right block for block. There's no mirrored system here as there would be usually. You're just going to want to copy exactly what you have on the right of your screen. So there you have it. Pause life necessary, of course. Once you've done that, you're just going to want to do the exact same thing for the back as well. So for the back here, we're just going to copy exactly what we have. Very easy, very easy indeed. To give you something which should look exactly like that. So pause life necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's now time for us to... Well, I suppose it's time for us to work on the rest of the body. However, I notice it is getting slightly dark. So I will be back once we have the full glorious daylight again. So once you have finished making those back legs, and as always, pause this if necessary if you're still working on any of that of course, it's time for us to move on to the rest of the body. So come to the back of your statue where we have this sticky out dark grey. Well what you want to do, going right of this single dark grey here, you want to do three black wool. One, two, three. Then you're going to want to do a single dark grey, like this. What you then want to do, once you have that sequence of blocks, is come over to the right hand side of our statue, and we're going to want to proceed going right of this dark grey block, so coming over the top of the back leg. And what you want to do is this sequence of blocks. Do two black wool, one, two, then three dark grey, one, two, three, then two white wool, one, two, five light grey wool, one, two, three, four, five, then two black wool, one, two, then one light grey, one white, to give you something which should look exactly like this. Very easy. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to work our way up to the head of the statue, I think. I think we'll cut into the head early. So come over to the front of your statue, and first of all, we're just going to want to connect these blocks that we have right here. So first, this light grey and dark grey, you're just going to want to connect them with a row of white wool, like that. So you're just going to want to have something which should look exactly like this. Then, you just want to Going from left to right, connecting this white wall to this light grey, you just want to do three white wall. I did not know that. Then, going up on top of this row of five that we have here, you want to do, going from left to right, one light grey, three white wall, one light grey. Then, on top of that, going from left to right again, you want to do one dark grey, two white wall, one light grey, one dark grey. Then, on top of that, you want to do, going from left to right, one black wool, three white wool, one black wool, to give you something which should look exactly like that. Then, what you want to do, after you've done that, is this row of black and white that we have here, you're going to want to extend this row coming towards you by five, so you just want to do this, this is the easy way to do it. One, two, three, four, five. Then the right here, one, two, three, four, five. And then just fill the middle bit in with white wool. And what we've essentially just built there is the bottom of the head. 
So, just to give you guys a bit of a sideways view, that is the bottom of the head of our kitty cat. So, once you've done that, and as always, pause this if necessary if you're working on that, of course, you're going to want to, on top of this fifth most outward row, do this going from left to right. Do one black wool, one dark grey, one pink, one dark grey, one black wool. Then, going on top, for the next row, do one white wool, one light grey, one black wool, one line wool, one white wool. Now, to finish off the face of the statue, just do an entire row of black wool to give you something which should look exactly like this. Very simple. Pause out necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to add a couple of details to the head since the flat face is kind of freaking me out. So, what you basically want to do, this row of free white that we have here on the bottom of the face, you just want to extend that out towards you with a row of free light grey, like so. Then, you're just also going to want to extend out towards you the free blocks on top of it to give you a more shapely face. There we go, that's better, it's not freaking me out anymore. So, you're just going to want to extend out those six blocks right there. The cat's mouth, the cat's muzzle? Muzzle sounds stupid, but that's what I'm going to call it. You just want to extend that out to give you the cat's muzzle. Pause that if necessary, of course. Once you've done that, it's time for us to... I think we're going to give a bit more shape to the head, because this weird flat head, honestly, this is freaking me out. I want to do the head. So, what you want to do, starting from here, this block right here, in line with the front of the chest. You're just going to want to go up on top of this block by three. So one, two, three. Then go to the left and connect it to the front of the head. And go and do the same on the other side of the statue as well. So one, two, three, and then connect it to the front of the head or the front of the face, whatever you want to call it. Then also just connect these two rows that you've just formed together. Then proceed to fill the rest of the head in with black wool. So, just like this. I'll leave this on recording since it's not going to take us too long. Just about done it. I'm filling in the entire top of the head as well with black wool. There we go, we've almost done. So once you've finished filling the entire head in with black wool, you're just going to want to place two black blocks right here in that position to give you the cat's ears and you're also going to want to do the exact same thing on the other side of the statue unless of course your particular cat lost an ear who knows maybe it did so right there i don't think that that needs any further explaining i think that you guys can see quite clearly where that black wall is supposed to go so pause that if necessary of course once you've done that you have successfully filled in the entire head, you've completely finished the head, it's done. No need to go back to that whatsoever. So once you've done that, it's time for us to work on the body a little more. So, god this is freaky, look at that. That's weird, I regret doing the head now, I wish I would have done the body first. So come to the back of your statue, and we're pretty much going to do the exact same thing that we've just done with the head, we're just going to... Uh, make like the outlines of the body and then just fill them in. So what you want to do is on top of this, well, both dark greys, I suppose, on top of the both dark greys that we have at the very back of the statue, you just want to go up on top of them by five with your black wall. So one, two, three, four, five. And on top of this one as well. One, two, three, four, five. Then just connect those two rows together to give you a nice rectangle shape. And then just connect these two corners right here to the front of your statue like this just connect them to the front exactly like that not too complicated whatsoever to give you a big giant rectangle kind of reminds me of a lorry so once you have like me a giant cat shaped rectangle on your screen there really is only one course of action we burn it no, no, wait, we fill it in, that's what we do. So, it's really simple. First, you're just going to want to fill the base of your rectangle in with white wool. We're just essentially giving our cat a white belly by doing this. And then, every other side is just to be filled in with black wool. Very easy, just a little bit tedious. So, 
There you have it, you just want the base to be filled in with white wool. And I wasn't going to cut anything out, but this is actually going to take a little bit of time. I'm going to be back once I have filled all of the four other sides in with black wool. So I'll be back in a moment. So I have literally just finished filling in those four remaining sides entirely in with black wool. It didn't take as long as I thought it would actually. I could have probably have left it in the tutorial, but you know, whatever, I suppose it skipped out two minutes. Once you've reached this point right here, there's only one thing left for us to do. What do you think our cat's missing? It's missing a tail. So come to the back of your cat statue and from this block right here, so from the top you want to be on the second row of the back of your cat, and from the very middle block that we have right here, you're going to want to, with your black wool, do four black wool coming out of the back of the cat. So one, two, three, four. Then it's probably easiest if I take a sideways view like this. So once you've got your row of four black wool coming out of the back of the cat, you're going to want to, from the fourth block, do three bottom right diagonals. So do one, two, three. Then, from the third bottom right diagonal, go to the right by five. So one, two, three, four, five. And now, just to finish off the tail of our cat, do a single light grey, followed by a single white wall, to give you something which should look exactly like this. It kind of looks like a magician's one, doesn't it? Maybe the cat's magic. It is a black cat. It's a witch's cat. So that is what you want for the tail. We've got a four black wool, two bottom right diagonals, a row six black, then a single light grey, and a white wool. And once you've done that, pause that if necessary, of course, you have successfully completed your cat statue. There is nothing left for you to do at this point, so I'm just going to give you a nice 360 degree views of the cat as I'm accustomed to doing. So the tutorial is 100% completely over, there is nothing left for me to show you, there is nothing left for you to do, unless of course you wanted to give your cat a cloak. I apologise, that's the door. Unless you wanted to give your cat a cloak, I'm, I'm not sure why you'd want to do that. I kind of want to do that though. But uh, it's kind of a nice statue, it really shouldn't have taken you too long to complete whatsoever, so hopefully it was very easy to follow. Thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one. I'm going to do more stuff like this, I feel, so see you in the next video. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, maybe you should think about subscribing. I have plenty more stuff like this on my channel. I have tutorials ranging from YouTube statues, skin statues, houses, pixel art, the list goes on. Thanks for watching.